Good evening. Thank you for joining us. You may have escaped robo calls, but a new phone frenzy is hitting many devices. Robo texts. Yeah, for joy, for joy. A Hawaii senator, though, asking Congress now to step in and help make it stop. Sam Spangler has more. These spam text messages can be bothersome, but it's not just a nuisance. These texts can also contain scam links. Just check out this text I got a couple weeks ago pretending to be Hawaii USA Federal Credit Union. Now, it looks real enough, but click on that link and it'll likely take you to a place that you don't want to be. The Federal Trade Commission got 334,000 complaints about spam text messages in 2020. That's more than double years prior. Many of them are spam and they have links and this links usually lead us to some website and there's a lot of unsuspecting folks out there, particularly young people and kupunas. So this resolution is really intended to protect them. The barrage has even prompted local businesses like Hawaii USA to issue warnings on their website. Fraud alerts saying scammers are posing as Hawaii USA, sending text messages followed by a phone call. The worry is some might be more open to a text message than an email or scam call. It's email that we're so used to, we, we know about phishing, but the email version or the text version is one that is most recent and we're not as um, discriminatory about how we receive it. And we are very, because, you know, the institutions may have those, our phone numbers and we think, okay, it's okay to click. Senator Misa Lucha says legislating this locally won't work due to a lack of resources. This is really more of when you talk about telecommunications, it's more a federal issue. So it's really incumbent for Congress. It behooves them to take action because this is getting to be a problem, and not just in Hawaii, but all over the country. The resolution is scheduled to be heard on Tuesday morning. For more information on how to protect yourself from scam texts, you can head over to our website, kh12.com. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.